Hello. I've got quite a lot of clutter on my desk here, but I am just going to show you very quickly, hopefully this will be quite a quick video, how to create this decorative tape. Now, you can do various colours, depending on the foil you've got, depending on the colour of ice you've got. I'll be using some craft foil. This is just some from a kit I got from the works, a UK store, and you've got about, I think, 10 different colours. Um, different textures, there's some holographic different colours, there's plain colours, there's some silver, which is holographic, there's gold, blues, all different colours. Um, you will also need some just little strips of plain paper, the eyes ink ice which was developed with Aladine and Seth Apter. I've got the, let's see the colour, Blue Ocean and Freesia which is sort of like a turquoisey colour and a pink. I've got my coloured foils, my strips of paper and then double sided tape. This is quite a wide one, you can do thin if you want, whatever width you would like. Um, this, I'm not sure where I got this one from, but I know I get a wide one like this from my local stationers uh, and it's Q Connect, that's the brand, but whatever double sided tape wide that you can, that you can get hold of. This is a little tiny scrap, it's all I've got left because I've used the rest of the plain decorative tape that I used, that I created. The others, you can see I've got a background, which I stuck them onto, this is a leaf print, it's a copy of a photograph, well not exactly a photograph, but a photographic process that I did years ago and I enlarged it. Now, stuck my tape onto that so it's got a nice background as well but if you just do the tape without sticking it onto background paper you get tape which is like this which you can see the background through because once the back of the double-sided tape is removed it's clear and you've just got the foiling and then the ice, ice ink ice, which is completely translucent so you get the colour but you can still see the background through. This is a postcard which I've made and I don't know if you can see the eyes in case has a little bit of a shine so that's I've added it on the top after onto this postcard but this is the tape that I've used. So we'll go ahead and, and make some. I'll just make one lot to set off with. So I've got my two pieces of just plain paper this makes it easier when you actually have completed your tape. It makes it a lot easier to get the, the ends off. So I usually just roughly stick it on because I can trim it later. I'll just do three at the moment. So I've, I've glued the ends just to paper so that you can see when it's finished I'll be able to take the backing off a lot easier because it's stuck to something solid rather than it curling up. It's a lot more manageable like this. So very very easy process just take your foil, dab it on and remove it. I do this quite randomly. You get all different marks, all different effects as you can see. I keep turning it round. This is going to be quite a bright tape. And you can burnish it and then you'll get quite a lot of the tape sticking, the foil sticking or you can just do it very gently and you'll get 
little bits like this. So I've got some of the pink holographic. I'll do some of the... Actually, I'll do a mixture. I'll do a little bit of the blue as well. This dark blue. Now this you can see I've used quite a bit so it's got gaps. But that's ideal because when you put it on, it only sticks to the uh, tape where there is foil. So you can see it leaves gaps which is quite good. You can dab on more solid areas and it'll pick up more. So you can sort of design it whatever you would like. Like that. Sorry I keep turning it round, it's just easier. I've got a little bit of this turquoisey blue and again as you can see it's been used quite a bit so there's gaps in the foil so you'll get a random effect again don't be scared to just pull it away because it, it does stick quite a lot a bit more solid there you can do, I should have possibly done this first, see we're getting quite good coverage there. If you've got any mark making tools, like this is just the middle out of a ribbon roll, I haven't tried this before but I think it should work, I'll do it with the gold and then it'll be a contrast. Right, you foil on and then just press in one area with your mark making tool yes and you get a nice circular gold impression as I say you've got to do it just in one area so it shows up yeah that's rather nice we'll turn that round and you need to be pressing where you've got a solid area of colour Quite nice is that. And you can do it going over the edge. So you get little semicircular bits. Sorry to keep spinning this round, but it's easier. Now move that so I'll get a bit of a smudgy. Yeah. And then let's see what colour shall we have? I'll have a little bit of silver. Now this I haven't used at all, so this will fill quite a lot of the gaps in. And the harder you press, the more it will pick up in areas where the tape is still sticky. I think this is looking quite graffiti stylish, which is quite nice. Right, so we've got some really bright, now I don't know if you can see this, I'll try and do it so that it, I'll maybe put it onto something duller, hopefully you'll be able to see that, hopefully it'll focus on that. You've got quite bright tape, Sorry. against white would be better, there we are. You can see it's nice and bright. And then just to finish it off, and I think I'll go with the turquoise this time, we just get a little bit of the Isinc Ice. I just put it on my glass mat. You do have to be careful when you put the lids on these that you haven't got any ice on the edges because it then sticks your, your caps on. Pick a little bit up with your finger and we're just going to go over the top. And what this does is it seals any sticky areas but also adds colour. So 
where I've got stickiness because there's nothing on there, no foil paper or anything, it just seals those but also gives some colour because as I say this is translucent rather than opaque and I just keep going back over to make sure I've covered all the areas and it doesn't matter if you get it on your pieces of paper so I'll just wipe that down and then I put it back onto some white paper so you can see again So you can see that's nice and bright and because it's translucent you haven't lost the colours so when that dries and I take it off the backing to use it you do have to be very careful that it doesn't curl because it does want to curl um, but it's you can see little gaps so you can see the background you put it onto through the little gaps where there's just the ice and no foil. So if you don't want to do a vast amount of foiling and just little bits here and there you could also clean up your jelly plate first with some of the double sided tape. Um, I did that with the first lot because I had some little tiny nuggets around the edge that refused to come up so I just picked those up first because I didn't want to waste them and I stored my tape just hung from one of my cupboards actually because it was double sided uh, I just hung it down ah, there's actually one left there that I've missed you see this is little bits that I picked up from my jelly plate Not nothing much but I just didn't want to waste those so that's what I started off with put my paper on and then did this process so I hope you like that